Jason Kidd had one of the longest NBA careers full of achievements and awards, with the best one being an NBA championship he won with Dallas Mavericks back in 2011. During his illustrious career, Kidd accumulated many exciting stories about different players, coaches, and people involved with the game of basketball he met along the way. One of them is the legendary point guard, Gary Payton. The glove may be one of the best point guards in NBA history, but what made his career even more memorable and remembered was his trash-talking prowess and unique character. What made him stand out was having no limits or filters, which he proved when he described what he talked about to his opponents. I said a lot of Christian, I said a lot of I said a lot of bad things to a lot of guys. And I heard a lot of guys' feelings. And that was just me. It wasn't personal. It was just something that to get them out of their game. Nothing was off limits. I never I never said I, I said anything that I wanted to. I talk about your mother, I talk about your your father, I talk about your kids. I'll say anything to get them mad. Kid and Peyton both grew up in the Oakland area and Peyton took Kid under his wing. Peyton holds Kidd in high regard, telling ESPN that Kidd was the first LeBron coming out of high school. Not only did Peyton groom Kidd, he also showed Kidd some tough love early on. In the same interview with ESPN, Kidd admits Peyton's suffocating defense and trash talking made him cry once in high school. Kidd was so demoralized that he actually considered quitting basketball. He talked a lot of trash and he uh, you know, would say, hey, you're not going to score. Actually, you're not going to get off a shot today when we do this drill. And I'm like, it's basketball. I can get a shot off and uh, he wouldn't let me get a shot off and uh, i was really hurt you know i you know he would you know talk trash and like you know we're gonna go home and cry kid told espn he went home and cried he told his parents what went down with peyton and that he think he should pick a different sport because he's not very good at it you know the big thing was he said you know he would never say it at the time but he wanted to see if i would come back the next day and i would come back but i would you know my ego and my game was a little wounded but I would try to you know, go right back at him. Trash talking is a natural part of the game, and throughout the history of the NBA, we have seen numerous players that took pride in verbal battles and trying to get a mental advantage over their opponents. Some of the most mentioned guys are Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Reggie Miller, and many more. But the undisputed king is, without a doubt, Gary Payton. GP left behind him an illustrious career, winning one championship, getting selected to nine all-star teams, nine all-NBA selection making nine all-defensive teams, and even winning one Defensive Player of the Year award. His ability to take on any perimeter player and shut him down is what made Peyton such a great player. Kidd continued to tell another GP story. The now Dallas Mavericks coach told how he trash-talked Peyton in his rookie season and how he immediately regretted it. I'll never forget this. Um, we're playing in um, Tacoma. This is, uh, I'm in the NBA, and I'm playing for Dallas. I'm a rookie playing against uh, Gary and, and so he's posting me up and I pretty much kind of know what he likes to do so he went into his move and um, I blocked it and I told him get that stuff out of here but I didn't say stuff but I and he, he looked back at me and uh, that was a big mistake <laughs> uh, <laughs> he went on like a 15-0 personal run uh, and then we ended up losing the game <laughs> so I went after the game and I said hey look my bad. I had a, I had a, I had a mental block. I forgot who I was playing. I didn't mean to say that to you. He said, "Oh no, you woke me up, and that, and that definitely helped me." But I said, "Don't worry about it. I'll never happen again." Both Kidd and Peyton had a tremendous impact on the NBA and the teams they played for, despite doing it differently and with a different demeanor. Even though they did it late in their career, they became NBA champions and solidified themselves as Hall of Fame point guards. Tell us in the comments, who do you think is the greatest point guard between Kidd and Peyton? And if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share and subscribe. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Vintage Dawkins, and follow us on social media.